for all that beautiful bean footage. In this video, I'm going to discuss the Bronsted-Lowry acid-base concept. Uh, Bronsted and Lowry define an acid as something as a proton donor. So the molecule has to have an H atom in it in order to even be an acid. A base is the proton acceptor. You can't have a donor without an acceptor or vice versa. So the example we're going to use is nitrous acid, HNO2, in water. Now this is a weak acid, so what that means is that some of these protons are donated at any one time, but not all. All right, and so let's look at the Lewis structures of nitrous acid. So nitrous acid, I have uh, drawn the acidic proton in blue here, and what happens is this, this bond breaks. So the oxy acids, the acidic protons, are always in an OH bond, and when the OH bond breaks, you get an O minus. And so uh, you go from nitrous acid to nit nitrite. And so when the proton transfers, it attacks one of these lone pairs and forms a covalent OH bond. Um, however, in water, the other lone pair still exists. However, once you transfer this H+, the whole thing um, becomes uh, a positive charge, and this is called hydronium, H3O+, and this is nitrite. And uh, this was the acid, so I'm going to label these acid, base. So strong acids, this reaction does not go backwards, but for weak acids, for the reverse reaction, this cannot be an H plus donor. It has no hydrogen. And so this H will go back. And so when you move the hydrogen onto the water and then back, basically there's no net reaction. So this is actually an equilibrium uh, back and forth. For the reverse reaction, this must be the donor, so we call it the acid. And this must be the acceptor, so it's the base. So the thing to notice is that you can't have donors that, that acceptors both for the forward reaction and for the reverse reaction. And the, not only that, but when we look at the molecule with the nitrogen here, the only difference between this form that's called an acid and this form that's a base is whether the proton is on it or not on it. And so these are called conjugate pairs. So you should be able to track them in a chemical reaction when you write them down. Uh, basically, it's the only thing with the formula that only differs by proton on or off. Proton on will be the acid form, proton off the base form. And so water with the proton on is hydronium. So this is also a, an acid-base pair. So let me write this down as chemical reaction. This is probably the more common way you'll actually see this reaction. Okay, so HNO2 aqueous plus water goes forward and also reverse to nitrite plus H3O plus. The nitrite and nitrous acid form a pair and this form a pair where there's only a difference between proton on or off. Proton on, proton off, acid, base. Proton on, proton off, acid, base. And note how each side has acid base like we originally labeled, and this side also has acid base like we originally labeled. This is a way to really double check and make sure all your ideas about this are consistent. Now, once we have an equilibrium, you should be able to write an equilibrium constant. The equilibrium constant for this particular reaction of an acid in water is called K subscript A, the acid ionization constant. We'll talk more about that when we work some problems.